<laughs> That's me being nervous for this episode. You sound like a ghost that needed to poop. Uh, <laughs> poopy ghost. Like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I wonder how many how many ghosts there are that are just lingering around toilets. Uh, Moaning Myrtle, one. True. Uh, Casper when he's pooping, two. Well, ghosts don't poop, do they? Yeah, I will, it'd be a ghost poop. I wonder if ghosts have toilets. They don't do anything. I guess they don't eat, so why would they do need a toilet? Do you believe in ghosts? Do I believe in ghosts? Yeah. I believe that there's so no. like <laughs> a energy that's left over, and sometimes that can be a negative energy, and that's I do believe in paranormal activity. But like the film franchise? No, not like the film franchise. I believe in it too. <laughs> no, no. I've seen the Blu-ray at JB Hi-Fi. <laughs> no, I know that's real because yeah. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've been in the the movies. But I do believe in paranormal activity. Yeah, I, be- okay. I, I, I believe that there can sometimes just be like energies that are left over. I don't think there's legitimate people walking around like, yo, what's up? I live on this side now. I lived on this side and now I live on this side. I don't think that otherwise the world would be so overpopulated with ghosts. Because, like, if ghosts were real and everyone became a ghost, oh, yeah. then it would just be packed. Like, you would die and then you'd just be yeah, like yeah. cramped in the world. Brother, you they're know? not real. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, it's weird that everyone's like, yeah. yeah, ghosts just walk around and shit. Yeah. I just don't care. That's fair. That's my take. Yeah. Like, if ghosts are real, great. If I don't think they are. I'm like that with a lot of things. I'm like that with God, ghosts, Loch Ness Monster. They kind of all fall in the same category for me. <laughs> That's crazy. Though you just listed some very different... God and Bigfoot, same thing. No. <laughs> for me, personally. True, both But that's just them... my personal belief. I just yeah. don't care. If if that is real, oh, that's I guess I'm going to hell. I fucked up. Egg on my face. Oopsies. Well, not that. Lava and whatever. I don't know what happens in hell, but like. That. Yeah. Yeah. But if I am right, oh, well, cool. I don't, still don't care. <laughs> what a weird way to start the podcast. <laughs> you know what I mean? What is she? I get it. I just don't. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? It's like when someone's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm into this. You're like, cool. I like this. You know, some people yeah. like Taylor Swift. Meg doesn't. I don't. And a lot of other... I I dropped that clip this week. A lot of other people agree with me. It was so, bold that I'm proud of you for saying that online. I was terrified putting that clip out. I was like, I'm going to sandwich this clip in between Christmas and New Year's just so I can try and like keep it contained. Yeah. And it went my way, thankfully. Yeah, it's a, it's a perfect time of the year. Yeah. The, the gap i think it's six days where no one really knows what's going on no we're all still full uh, uh, but we're all like some of us are still drunk yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) you know what i mean that there's just there's nothing going on yeah and it's the it's probably the weirdest week of the year for sure for sure yeah no one really knows when their bingo's out no because i think some councils that it's a delay today and then some it's we don't take the day off because the Christmas stuffs it up, right? Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there was a bit of confusion on the street today. I put the bins out yesterday, but only half the bins were out. Oh. Maybe people were just on holidays. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway. That would make sense. Anyway. Guys, last episode guys, of the year. I don't believe uh, in ghosts, but we're doing it. I am scared. Are you scared? I'm scared. Not of ghosts. I'm scared of the wheel in oh, this one. See, I believe in that. And that I, scares me. Yeah, that's been terrifying me <coughs> because obviously we don't have a spin anymore. We don't have our respin. Mm-hmm. We've only got one spin and it has to be a turn up. Has to be a turn up. Yeah. And I, this is why I didn't want this to happen. I didn't want to get to the last. I was trying to save the whole year. Yeah. And, and you wish you had the extra respin now, don't uh, you? Y- absolutely. If Absolutely. it's not a turn up, I'm going to say, this is a massive call, it's going to ruin my year. Yeah, it'll it'll ruin my entire next year. This has been the sure. best year of my entire life. And if this lands on wind down, it's going to be the worst year of my entire life. That's not true. I didn't like grade two. You didn't like grade two? That nah. was a bad year for you? Yeah. Why? Did you poop I used your pants? To, no, I used to... W- no. <laughs> you did, didn't you? I, <laughs> I didn't poop my pants. Uh, I swear I didn't. I used to grab toilet paper 
and wet it and then chuck it in the roof. Oh, hell yeah, that's fe- fun. Feel like if you're doing that for entertainment life's at a pretty low like a pretty low point that's pretty boring Mm. yeah like you don't quite oh actually you would have known how to ride a bike i didn't know how to ride a bike you too i knew this you know what i mean Mm. like you don't know how to ride a bike playgrounds are still fun but it's like ah, i've done the same school one over and over again for the last few years like it's kind of boring i was also uncoordinated but i think you were neglected but let's spin that (laughs) wheel (laughs) (laughs) all right we're looking for the turn up you ready? Let's spin it. Oh, oh! what was the call with the LED? So we're having some trouble with the mics before and we didn't turn on the lights. Yep. And now the lights are on yeah, again. Cool. So yay. All right. All right. Just in time. We ready? Mm-hmm. Ready? Now? Are you actually sure? Okay. No. Oh. Spin that wheel. Please oh, to God Luke, your be your microphone. Your microphone. Oh, interference. <laughs> interference. If this is wind down, I'm Inter- claiming interference. Oh, yeah. Interference. No. Come on, oh. come on. Oh, it was a big spin. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. No, interference. Interference. Oh, oh, oh. never mind. Oh. Never mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, did a, I did a shocking turn of never events. Mind. The wheel, literally a, a force of power just pushed it back onto the turn up. That. I think I believe in ghosts. That was remarkable. There is a ghost in here who was like, nah, we need to wind up, that fellas. That landed on wind down. Turn up, fell. That landed on wind down fully, and then it literally pushed itself back onto the turn up. I, my heart's going so fast. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Scratch every single thing I said at the start. I am now a man of God. God is real. And Jesus oh. is good. God is good. God is good. <sighs> Holy moly. Well, guys, going into the New Year's as a turn up. That was a real crisp high five. Hell's yeah, it was. Good to end the year with a nice crisp slap. Yeah, if you, I love a good crisp slap. Love it. Now, Luke. That's incredible. I feel like, you know that bit in uh, Elvis where Elvis, we're young Elvis, he's like, got like this. He's like, he's and got the spirit in him. That's how I feel right now. Nobody touch him. He's got like the spirit in I'm him. having this out of body experience, but it's just turning up. Yeah. Ahead of New Year's Eve. We're, I'm excited. We're going away with all our friends. We're going to like, got this like stupid mansion. Yep. Like on this farm property. It's an Avengers pad, dude. I'm excited. Amazing. I'm so keen for it. Um, but Luke, how was, how was your Christmas? Because we haven't actually spoken about Christmas yet. And I heard it was very relaxing for you. I had the best Christmas ever. Because usually we're doing... Like, the, are you? I, I love Christmas every year. Yeah. Right? It's good fun with family and fun times. But sometimes, <laughs> Lukey likes a morning to himself. And <laughs> Who would have thought? December what? 25th. What a great day to have that. Uh, Meg went up to Sydney. So yeah. I was just alone, which sounds sad. It does sound sad. Like, so usually we go lunch at yours and then dinner at mine. So I had time to kill until 4 p.m. Yeah. I woke up at 11.30 a.m. And I <laughs> I cracked a beer. <laughs> oh, at 11 a.m.? Oh, actually, I was drinking. No, 11.30. Like, oh, dude, I was, it was like, I don't know why I said that because at 10.30, I also yeah. started drinking, so... No, I, that's not true. I probably cracked a beer at about 12.30. I woke up. I mulled around for a bit. Right. I'm then, just a delinquent then. Yes. And I was like, <laughs> what am I going to do with my afternoon? And I went on Netflix and I watched the entirety of Saving Private Ryan. That is psychotic <laughs> to do on Christmas morning. That's what my family said. And it wasn't until I got to my gathering at dinner time and they asked, oh, what have you done today? And I told people that, that mm. I realized that that's not acceptable behavior. No, that's N- not normal. Nothing says festive cheer like watching the atrocities that were committed on the D-Day landing in 1944 in Normandy. That's You just were like, I'm going to watch people get blown up before mm-hmm. c- eating Chrissy lunch, dinner. Yeah. Beheading straight to turkey. Was it straight to turkey or did you play Fortnite? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, you I, played. I, just, I committed other war crimes. You literally went from war to war and then to Christmas. Yeah, but one Tom Hanks was uh, in a military uniform and um, one I ha- had my tiger skin on. And um, <laughs> I also just recently bought the John Wick skin uh, for those who That's needed sick. a Fortnite update. Uh, my locker's looking pretty clean coming into the new year. Well, I did get you V-Bucks for Christmas, so... My friends <gasps> thought I was la- like joking. 
I can't believe this. What? I'm gonna yeah, your so your friends thought you were joking. Well they were like, Merry Christmas boys, hope you guys all got V Bucks under the tree as a joke in the group chat. But I didn't view that as a joke because I have the best girlfriend alive. Thank you, thank and I, you. I had well, we didn't even set up our tree, but I had V Bucks on the bench. Uh, yeah, I gave you V Bucks on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, yeah, I actually did get V Bucks boys, Merry Christmas. What are we all spending it on? Do we want to buy the Ninja Turtle skins and squat up? I'm trying to coordinate some kind of a plan yeah. on what we're all all gonna do with our V Bucks. Yeah. Turns out they were kidding and they were like, no, I didn't get V Bucks. I'm 27. My girlfriend bought me an RM Williams voucher. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, you guys are f- <laughs> cool, dude. Have fun with your boots, nerd. Yeah, but then you told me that the girlfriends, almost the, all the wives, d- don't, don't, they don't, don't know. Don't, don't say that. They I'm, don't know. I'm not gonna they're... stitch, I'm not stitching on my friends. I'm stitching on your friends. <laughs> oh, for sure. They oh. don't know that they're spending money on on Fortnite, which is crazy because now... Mark, I didn't tell her that. You've put me in a position where I'm not... I can't talk about Fortnite to anyone. <laughs> no, I think the direct I can't talk quote, about... Like, what am I supposed to say when they go, oh, what did you get Luke for Christmas? No, but my... <laughs> I'm going to have to leave out the V-Bucks because they're going to be like, oh, what's that? And I'm like, oh, well, the boys sp- spend money on Fortnite. Yeah, they... <laughs> Yes. Okay. Well, now I have to, now I have to document. <laughs> you've, you've cornered me. We were playing the other day and they were just like, my girlfriend has no idea how much money I spend on this game. And also that I spend money on it. I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean? She just thinks everyone gets the John Wick skin. And he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she thought it, come, it came with the game. Like it's like a prize. You they win get, a section and you get getting John married Wick in skin. four months. In that you're hiding V buck purchases from That's them. That's really funny. <laughs> I just I I know I know that there are so many of out out there uh, that of you that, that I know that there are so many of you out there. That's what I was trying to say. That also do the same. Why that do you people, do not tell your girlfriends. You are hiding it from your girlfriends. Why do people hide dumb shit like that from their partner? Because. If they didn't hide it, then they wouldn't be allowed to do it. <laughs> I'd get in trouble. No, nah, I do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. I know you do, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I also spend money on my gardenscape, so it just gives me... You do? Yes. You've never told me that. I do have told you that, because remember when I get like the goat, I got the husky, I got... I can't even judge you. That sounds like just as dumb as the shit I spend on. <laughs> and I just spend it on animals. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your pajamas, by the way. Oh, thank you. It's got two of my favorite things on it. Dogs wearing food. Yeah, it's a, it's like a, for audio listeners, it's, I guess, like a collage of different dogs. Like there's a poodle wearing grapes. There's a Frenchie wearing ice cream. A poodle. No, pr- wait, a, gr- what? a grudel. Oh, a grape poodle. Yeah, or a yeah, poo yeah. ape. A poodle poo grape. Poo- <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. There's, there's, a, a, there's a pug wearing a pineapple. Yeah, there's a Jack Russell wearing a cupcake. cupcake. Uh, there's a Cavalier King Charles wearing a, what is that? A strawberry. Yeah. Pretty fun. Pretty good stuff. I want them to like release a, like for their next season of fashion. I want Peter Alexander to come out with, instead of uh, dogs wearing human food, it's humans wearing dog food That's on pajamas. And it's oh. just like a bloke name. Keith and he's got a sack of pedigree <laughs> around him. Um, yes, but Christmas your, was good. What about good. your one? Uh, yeah, it was good. I hung out with the kids. You that went to was Sydney. Psychotic. Yeah, I went to went to Sydney. It was a very cute thing that my nephew did on Christmas Eve. Mm. Um, so obviously the carols are playing on the TV and he gets very into the carols. He loves it. And so he's sitting on the couch watching the carols while all the other kids are absolutely running mayhem. They are just being gremlins and he's being a little angel watching the TV. Mm -hmm. Santa comes out, he does his thing. And then when Santa leaves... Xavier just goes, because obviously on the TV, they go, when Santa leaves, you have to go to bed because it means that Santa is on his way. Mm-hmm. So Santa leaves and Xavier goes, all right, I have to go. See ya. And gets up and walks out of the room. And we're like, where are you going? What are you doing? And he's like, I have to put myself to bed. Santa's coming. Like, duh, idiots. Yeah. Like he was like, you freaking It's good. He has respect idiot. for the great man. <laughs> yeah. So much respect. And he just puts himself to bed. 
That's very cute. He gets in the bed and we're like, oh, don't you want to come and say goodbye to the rest of the family and stuff first? And he's like... I'm not going to risk it. Yeah, he's like, I can't get out of bed now. Mm. What if Santa doesn't come? What if I get out of bed and Santa's just not going to come then? I'm going to wake up with a stocking full of turds. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, you have to come to me. Yeah, And so all of us, the entire family had to go into his room, say goodnight to him and then head off because he was so scared that Santa wasn't going to come and see him. If he didn't. <laughs> I love how uh, seriously the, the kids take the Christmas law. Well, some of them don't though. Like Gracie couldn't care less. Like she's touched the elf before. She's like gotten rid of him. Like she just does not care about the law. She just likes the presents. Yeah. She doesn't really piece two and two together. Xavier's very much like if I don't go by the book, Christmas is going to be ruined. Mm-hmm. Christmas is going to be dead. Um, Santa Claus isn't going to come to my house. He's not going to give me no Fortnite skin, no v box, no nothing. <laughs> Christmas without v box. That's Great. a world I wouldn't want to live you know in. What's, you know what's really crazy? I got you guys pretty much the same gifts. You're buying your eight-year-old nephew and your 27-year-old boyfriend the same shit. Yep. That ref- that's, I think that's a, that it does reflect poorly on me. I will admit that. But you're... You're dating me, and that sucks for you too. Yeah, it's a bit entertaining. There's though. a little bit of like you should look inwards on that. No, while, it keeps when you're... it fun. Well, it's a little sad. It keeps it fun. I like it. Um, did you buy him uh, running shorts as well? I didn't buy him the running <laughs> shorts. That is the one thing that we did differ <clears> on. <throat> Instead, I bought him the Dude Perfect uh, book, which gives all of their tricks. It like they go through all of their tricks, so I got him the book form of that, so he can do the tricks. Yeah, right. Um, and I was pretty much auntieing four kids over there, so yes. I've noticed that a bit, not in my family particularly, but I've noticed it across the board of talking to my friends about Christmas. Mm. It feels like parents just clock off. Yeah, they're like, oh, there's cousins or there's other people to look after the kids for the day. Hooroo! Absolutely. Yeah. They take care of them every other day of the year. Like they deserve one day where they're like, I don't have to think about my children uh, mm. running around. Yeah. And that's what I did. Sound like, you sound like they had the opposite to me. Whenever I called you, it was just chaos in the background of the phone call. Utter chaos. And my family Christmas is always just the most vanilla, low-key event that happens all year. Yeah. It's kind of just like a, a ham meetup. <laughs> Like, like yours is a sit down for tea. Mine's like beer pong and ham. Yeah. Ours yeah. is like um, conversation. Uh, we exchange chocolates and yeah. we're like, see you next year. And we kind of just wrap it up before, honestly, before it gets too late. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I think that I rolled out of there about 9.30, got there at four. I am sad that uh, we didn't have any Christmas ham left over though. Yeah, you requested some. And I, did. I did. There wasn't really much left over. Yeah, that's what's sad about it though. Because I love me leftover Christmas next ham. Year. I know. I know. But, uh, but yeah, that's big, big, big Christmas. Yeah. Can I have, I've got a little tidbit. Yeah, I like tidbits. Um. So last night I uh, I ripped a fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, but I got to give a little context before I tell the story. Yeah. The longest running in joke of Meg and I's relationship, and I mean the longest running in joke that I don't think has ever actually been public. Yeah, I don't think we've ever talked about this. That's crazy because we've talked about everything. My, you can I correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't think the. I feel like the longest in joke we've ever had is when I fart. I go, Meg, every time. Yeah, and you blame it on me. You're like, why would you do why that? Why would you do such right a thing? Like, in my how Meg, close? Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. it doesn't matter what where I am. Like, even like, you know, sometimes we'll be sharing very small um, hotel or Airbnb quarters, like where it's just an ensuite. Even if sometimes I will be, look, and, and I'm sorry to be graphic, but if I'm just taking a uh, heinous shit, yeah, right? Like an Oppenheimer atomic, <laughs> right? Yeah. Just, you know, made by shit. science in the desert type operation. Yeah. I will occasionally just call out Meg. Why would you do that from the toilet? Oh, like Meg can yeah. just hear through the wall. Just, just the destruction followed by. Oh, Meg. Because sometimes it's so loud, it it feels like it rattles the house, and it goes vice versa. If yeah. Meg, if Meg will do one, she'll be like, Luke, what the hell? 
Yes. And 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 the the other person has to go, I'm sorry. I yes. shouldn't have done that. I should that's bad. You often don't. I completely <laughs> commit to it. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm just the most disgusting person on earth. Anyone who would do that <laughs> is a piece of shit. Yeah, and I'll be like, Well, thank you for apologizing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, uh it's like two AM. You've been asleep for like an hour. Do you remember this? Do you know what I'm about to say? I thought it was a dream. <laughs> I thought I was dreaming when this happened. Right. I think I remember. I'm taking a piss. It's 2 a.m. and I've left the ensuite door open because it's like 2 a.m. and I also just think Meg's asleep, right? Yeah. And look, I'm only human and we've all done it. Don't pretend, don't pretend you're too good for this. Don't pretend like you're above this. I squeaked out a little fart. Towards the end of my pee. You know when you're trying to push out that last bit and you push well, a yeah, little too it hard? Yeah, because it leaves room yeah, no, when you, you And it was just a little... Or whatever, yeah. right? A little cheeky one. And then even though you're asleep, <laughs> that's the thing. It doesn't even... Even if Meg's not in the same state as me, I often, like, save... Like, you know when you're away in Christmas? Yeah. I farted on the couch during the movie and went, oh, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter where you are. Good I'll, to see that you're still keeping it strong when I'm not home. On you. Yeah. So... Even though I knew you were asleep, I just go, oh, Meg. It's almost like a tick. Mm. It's kind of just out of habit. And swear to God, in her sleep, she's been asleep for like an hour. Meg just rolls over and goes, that's disgusting. <laughs> and then and I go, what? Like, I thought you were unconscious. And then she just goes, I'm so gross. I shouldn't have done that. That's my bad. <laughs> I literally thought that was a dream. No. I thought that was a dream because uh, like as I was doing literally that. Literally claiming responsibility for my farts in your sleep. Well, it's because I was dreaming about us doing a show. And so I was having like all of that was happening. And so I think I just pieced it together in my dream. I literally had no idea that I said that out loud. No, I was really that's, impressed with you. That's so funny that in my sleep, I was like, ah. That, that's when you know it's a good in-joke, when you're doing it unconscious. <laughs> that's, that's when it's a real, it's, a, it's, it's stuck around. It's very funny. I can't believe that even you remembered to say that on the podcast. Like, if if that's hilarious. God forbid if, yeah. if we're old, right? We've hit early age, and I don't know, and and, and say you go first, right? Yeah, that probably won't happen because I'm older than you. But <laughs> say if you hit the shelf before me, yeah, right? You're in a vase or some shit. If I'm like ninety or a hundred or whatever, right? Which unlikely, you know. No, I reckon you'll live to a solid 96. I don't think so. I think you'll get there. I reckon I've got a good 78 in me. 78? Maybe 82 good innings. 80? I'm not going to raise the bat. I'm not getting to 100. Dude, you're not getting to 100, but you're getting over 90. For sure. For sure. You've got long life in your family, dude. Yeah, my granddad lived to like 92. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. You're definitely good to go. You're, you're good. You're anyway. Good. Anyway, sorry. Save you've cocked it before I have. Yeah. 100%. I'm going to be going, <laughs> looking up at the shelf at the ashes and going, Meg. Meg. That's very funny. <laughs> and then I'm like, respond. And you're like, ah! <laughs> like, go star reel. <laughs> I just come back to haunt you. <laughs> or it's the opposite. Like you hear little farts around the house and then you'll just hear your name like, Luke. And you're like. Who was that? <laughs> I'm just doing ghost farts. Only Meg would crop dust me after she dies. <laughs> crop dusting in peace. Yeah. Woo. Um, okay. We've got a couple more things on the agenda to, to wrap up the year. One, we want to wrap up the year. Yeah. I wanted to do some reflecting. Oh, the reflecting. Yeah. Okay. I think it's always good at the end of the year to reflect on uh, not only what you've achieved, yeah. but what you've done poorly. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's what been your favorite moment of the year? Like for real? Yeah. Um. Oh, I mean, it's got, it's a blur. It's a blur? The Enmore shows were really cool. I don't know. Some of the shows were great. Yeah. Professionally, that was. I thought we were talking about podcasting wise, but oh. yeah. Oh. Of the entire year. Yeah. There's a lot. Well, my favorite moment of this podcast? Yeah. I liked it when you had a lisp. Damn, that was mine. Oh. I was going to say, do y'all remember when I had a lisp? Yeah. When half my tongue just stopped working? Yeah. 
Uh, I've it's still the most coherent episode of Luke and Meg that's ever been put to air. Yeah, dude, stick it in me, Steve. <laughs> is hilarious. Mm. Um, another one that I know people will disagree on heavily, mm-hmm. uh, but I just think it's the funniest one was when we were talking about if mermaids were real, mm-hmm. and, and I was like, oh, they're actually super ugly. I remember it. Yeah. They, <laughs> and I don't think clip. anyone else is going to be like, highlight of the year for you Hilarious. guys. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. When you said, yeah, I'd put her away, but I wouldn't brag about it. So you were talking about the the mermaids. Yeah. Uh, that they found. Like, it, they, they're like it's not uh, the movie version of a mermaid. It no. Doesn't, you know, it looks like this crusty, like, corpse. It kind of looks like a mummified wretched looking sea creature yeah and i was like yeah you'd put her away but you wouldn't brag about it hilarious and hilarious sure i like that the highlight of the one of the highlights of the year for you was just an intrusive thought (laughs) that slept away slipped away slept slipped away but no i think there was a lot of moments like that where it's always the intrusive thoughts that are the funniest honestly Maybe. 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 Um, but yeah, that's my favorite moment of the podcast. Favorite moment of the year? Oh, God. I There was too many. Too many. I liked uh, the London shows. Experiencing Weatherspoons for the first time. Spoons! Fucking spoons, mate. Oh, I loved a bit of spoons. All right, listen up. Here's what we're doing. We're going to catch the underground, right? We're yeah. going to spoons, pint. Followed by another pint, Guinness, Guinness, cocktail, head out of spoons, yeah. do a show, London, Leicester Square, post show, back to spoons, pint, followed by another pint, Guinness, die on the floor, Get wake up, up the yeah. next day, do it again. Yeah, spoons, let's go. I'm so excited to go back next year. Oh. We've been hyping it up. So people will know what it is, um, for obviously in the UK. The only way to describe it is if Macca's was a pub. Yep. That's, it's, it's cheap alcohol. Just McDonald's. Super it's the McDonald's of pubs. Oh, yeah. And they their business model is quantity of people over quality of vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like, honestly, like you can't really mess up a, no, a beer's drink. Beer. You know, beer's beer. They're just given the beers that are at every other pub. They're just doing it yeah. cheaper. Then it's fine. Fair enough. Their food. People are like don't get the food there. That is nasty. But like you know what? I'm fine. Cheap drinks and I love it. I love it. That. that did shock me a lot about the UK. Was no one eats at pubs really? Yeah. Like they just serve like fish soup. Yeah, it's like all really... foods for old people that don't have teeth. It's like a nursing Any... home menu. Yeah, anything that you can slurp down. Yeah. Really? Australian pubs are by far the best. Yeah, for sure. Like for for in the sense that you can get a meal and have a night out there at the same time. It's always going to be decent. Yeah. Mm. Or not always, but like mostly going to be decent yeah. for sure. But yeah. I, I would say the UK was definitely a highlight. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the London shows in particular. Um, I think it was just, I don't know what it was about it. I just really... The audience was perfect and it was an easy show to do. The venue was great. And I I just remember that feeling and I'll remember that feeling for a very long time. Wow. Felt good. Felt good. Great room. <laughs> great room. Um, what about you? What's your highlight of the year? I probably just do. I, yeah, I do want to end the year by saying thank you so much to everyone, yeah. not only for watching the pod, uh, enjoying what we do, hopefully. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Consuming what we do every week. Uh, we appreciate it. We know there's a lot of you and um, it's cool to, when we meet you on the street and, and even if we haven't met you yet, um, you know, just th- thank you. Yeah. And hun- thank you. Hundred, over 100,000 people came and saw my tour this year, which is crazy. crazy. That's I never amazing. thought that would happen, so I appreciate it. Yeah, and thanks yeah. for watching the the podcast and also coming up, um, you know, after the shows or in the streets and being like, hey, and I really the sheets, love the... Dude. And in the sheets, even. I'm being like, Please, I love the, the podcast. No one do that. If you see Meg and I <laughs> in the sheets, don't do it. Don't join. Please do not. That's not okay. We're most likely probably just Dutch ovening each other anyway and then blaming it on the other person. <laughs> person comes in like, hey guys. And we're like, Pfft. and they're like, ah! 
<laughs> you start blaming them. <laughs> like, stranger, what the hell? Why did you do that? Why did you come in our shoes and fart? <laughs> but yeah, thanks for coming up and uh, validating my feelings. <laughs> it would be very difficult to do this podcast uh, without anyone giving us nice feedback and stuff so yes i appreciate it because it makes it very much worth it and uh the final and biggest thank you is going to be to miss meg archibald yes yourself that's you me yeah why because we've been doing this podcast since february and we've only missed one week and that was not your fault it's because i was well we were buying a house that yes. day and yeah we did have to prioritize that one day that there were bigger fish to fry there were bigger fish to fry for um, sure so i was spending my life savings um and yep. that was a stressful situation and we even tried to but, do it but the camera did not allow us to to play that episode but meg has is the lifeblood of this podcast she's got out every episode and please uh, via all credit don't do me. that. I don't think anyone was going to veer any to me, but just in case you were, no, please don't, don't. refrain from uh, veering it to me and send it Meg's way because she's kept this podcast going when uh, I've been super busy doing a million other things. Yeah. And I appreciate it and we all appreciate it, Meg. So thank you. Thank really you. Well thank you so much, but it is a joint effort still. I've actually done pretty much fuck all. I, I put out the Christmas episode last week. That's actually all I, And it was fucking hell i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i struggled with the thumbnail i was i was messaging meg going, i don't panicking. know what to do i'm panicking no don't panic no because i'm gonna and, lose my job and it came out a day late i'm pretty sure on youtube that's and okay that's what happens when i do it so it's fine it's fine it still came out did it come out yes it did let's go and that's what truly matters so um now i feel like we should give a little bit of an explanation as to what's going to happen in january and then what our plan is for our podcast Mm -hmm. do you want to take it away i will want to start off this by saying don't do not panic okay don't panic nobody panic because people don't like change yes and all of a sudden we go we're going to change some things people go "Uh uh-uh Keep, I like this show do that. every Friday the way it is. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. And to that, I say that sucks because then you end up like Simple Plan and you don't evolve. Okay. And you're still like a 40-year-old singing songs about kissing girls in high school. Yes. You know, you, you want to be a paramour. You want to be a, an artist that keeps evolving and keeps staying relevant over time. You know, yeah. they yeah. started off pop punk and now they're just a hell of a good pop rock band. Hells yeah. And for sure. You know, you don't want to be good Charlotte. Okay. okay. I feel like we've done enough of the band. Do you, you know, want to just jump straight into it? You don't want to be. I'm trying to think of another artist that hasn't evolved. Um, Luke Kidgel. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> That's just brutal. <laughs> That's just so brutal for you. Um, no, but anyway, we want to change up the format a yes. little bit. Yeah. We're hoping, and we hope you guys are excited about it because we are, we want to change this podcast into ideally guest interviews. Yeah. Where we, instead of us talking by ourselves each week, we get on a third member or even a fourth member, who knows? And uh, we have a chat and we find out about people and from all walks of life, not just comedians. Yeah. Obviously, we'll have a bunch of comedians on because they're largely my friends. Um but I want to try and get on musicians, uh, different types of artists. Not even just that. I would love to get on a rocket scientist. Yes. Ask him about the spa- space. Yep. Smart people, dumb questions. That, yes. I do want to bring that into it because I think it would be very, very funny. Yeah. Um. And, and look, like the reason behind it is we – I feel like this year has been great for introducing us mm-hmm. – and introducing us as like, you know, uh, as just people and yeah, it's it's been good listening to our stories and figuring that out. Um, but yeah, I feel like because we're together 24-7, uh, the content doesn't like spontaneous moments don't really happen with us. And so I find it hard to 
tell stories where we haven't already heard it or we weren't oh, so yeah. there together. On the show. Yes. You make it sound like off, off record, like we're just like the saddest least spontaneous no individuals no but it does <laughs> no but the podcast does sometimes do that where it's like i can't tell you a story because i'm like i'll save it for the podcast yeah, yeah like that does kind of happen and so this year's been great because yes as i said it's allowed us to kind of tell you guys who we are um but now yeah going into guest episodes i feel like it's something that'll be fun for both us and for the audience as well yeah and we're still gonna like we're not quite sure and i guess your input would be welcome and appreciated on this with that we're not sure of like we want to do like a full-on interview thing or if it's like a third party joins us for what the regular ep would be i yeah. I, I think a mix of the both i think it'd be fun uh t- for you guys to get to know about s- different people and um and i know some people we're also aware that some people may not be interested yeah in this and that that's just that that sucks but it's also completely understandable yeah i mean it's also still gonna have stories from us though like if something funny happens to us of course we're still gonna tell it on the podcast yeah we, we think we're gonna do like start off every episode with like 10 to 15 minutes of like banter with just us yeah. and then we like throw to like and on today's episode we're joined by thingo enjoy yeah so we still get like the best 10 15 minutes of where we are in the world what's happening any fun little stories yeah followed by like ideally what we think will be a more interesting chat with uh someone who is more interesting than us yes yeah exactly because i have so many i'm very lucky i and meg is too we have so many talented and funny and insightful and interesting friends and yeah. i always feel like in my head like doing this every week and and especially because i do another podcast as well it feels so self-indulgent at times. Yeah, I mean, it's self-indulgent, but it's also just a little, like, stale, I feel like, sometimes. Because yeah. we don't always have enough topics to talk about, so we are just scraping the barrel for like, any content that we have yeah. in our life. Touring so much. Yeah. Like, doing the same thing all the time. I don't think people realized how re- how repetitive touring is. Mm. We're in, the, the, the scenery changes, but that's about it. Yeah, the actual like every theater starts to look the same by the end, and um, but yeah, that's that's our plan. Um, and the another big thing is we are doing a lot in January. Like we're moving into our new house. We're about to go away again, um, just on like a a little like New Year's break. Um, and it's gonna be we awesome years. also need to like figure out the format and like plan for next year's podcast so i think we're gonna take january off um and we'll come back strong don't worry but yeah we'll once we've figured out everything out the podcast that we'll do before all that is explaining kind of what what format we want to go into and whatnot um and start next year's podcast yes so yeah and we might even change the na- dude that could have been the last wheel spin ever that could have been the last wheel spin because we're not sure we're going to keep doing sure. the weekend ready thing yeah. um we have a couple of ideas for other names we don't know because we, we just don't know what we're gonna call it yes uh what it's gonna be but the, what we can say is we're excited that the podcast will be returning and the one thing that might actually disappoint 20 percent of you and we're sorry but we had to make this decision uh this will be the final do you say this already what this will be the final video episode Oh, I haven't said that. Yeah. No, yeah. This will be the final video episode um, ever of the pod. Full, Big sad. The full episode, yes. Yeah. Uh, it'll just be an audio podcast from now on. And yep. obviously, we'll be clipping things from online. But, like, yeah. uh, as far as consuming full episode wise, it'll just be a pod. Just I just the audio. wanted to do a pod that tastes like real pod. You know, yeah. like Milk Ad, where it's like, it's 10% fat and it's shot in three angles and it's blah, blah, blah. I just I'm want like, milk that tastes like real milk. Yeah. I just want an audio experience that lasts for 45 minutes to 55 minutes once a week. Yeah. And that's that's what we will be giving you guys. So it takes a, a little bit of the pressure off us. So and if, makes... if you want to send us suggestions for guests yep. or ideas and, and it doesn't have to be famous people. That's one thing I think that we're going for is like just fun people or interesting people um you know even if it's like like an author i don't know i want to get on like a i would love to get on like a ghost expert yes i want to get a paranormal investigator on for sure i want someone to convince me or like a witch or something 
That'd be fun. I won't be able to do that interview. What if she like puts a curse on you and see if we see if it works? Again, I'm so, so skeptical. I'm actually happy for that to happen. But also, <laughs> I can't do that interview. I can't be in the same room. Why? Because I think it would be insensitive to scream Monty Python quotes at someone for 45 minutes. Are you a witch? I'm like, she's like... I'm not a witch. Like, she looks like one. I'm like, yeah, she looks like one. And I'll just be sitting there going, classic. Classic. John Cleese and the lads. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's that's a little update on us. Um, Luke, have you got anything else to wrap up the year? I want people to have the happiest New Year's ever. Oh! People say Happy New Year. That's bullshit. Have the happiest. Have the happiest. Yeah, I I agree, Luke. Have the happiest New Year, guys. And turn the fuck up because <laughs> this will did something special today. I uh, cannot believe it did that. I'm going to watch the replay and it's going to be amazing. That was fantastic. There is paranormal activity in this room. Yeah, it's so good. All right. Turning up. Enjoy your New Year's. Have the happiest of New Year's. And we will see you next year with the new pod. Thank you for all the support. Love you. That's it from us. See you in over a month, yeah? February. We'll be back in your lives. Please to God, don't forget about us. Good luck, everyone.